A protest was held in front of the Yarmouth Municipal Building in Hebron the morning of July 14th. Close to 100 involved in harvesting clams, worms, periwinkles, Irish moss and lobsters turned out for the event, showing their concern for Yarmouth Municipality's consideration of zoning allowances to allow for the establishment of land-based salmon farming. There should be an amendment to this bylaw, and what that should be is no salmon farming of any sort within the municipality of Yarmouth, whether it be open pen, closed, or open land-based, or whatever. The recirculation of the water that they're concerned about, if it was somehow land-based and didn't use the water, and so many people use the water and the coastlines, that's really the concern, and I guess it will stop if they don't rezone, apparently. Uh, I, I think when we sit down and talk about it, we have a billion dollar natural fishery here. And I think the very, the, the heart of the question is, how much of that are we willing to risk so that people can build large industrial farms on the side of our ocean? There's a, a wetland there that I don't know how you'd ever fill it, but they're gonna destroy wetland with Eastern paid and turtles in it. There's eels in the pond. There's also uh, purple pitcher plants there that they're not extinct, but all this stuff's very rare. Chemicals coming out the back end, and it's in the environment. It kills everything. That's why that's why all the lobsters are disappearing in the bay because of the fat salmon farms up in the bay. But they're all quick to blame the natives. Got nothing to do with natives. Do some research in the Atlantic Salmon Federation, and they'll see what's what it's all about. The clam larvae and the worm larvae all uh, floats on the surface of the water for up to a month before it settles in. Depends on where it goes, it depends on the tides, the currents and everything, but, and it worms in, in say, uh, Sunday Point, or the clams in Sunday Point, actually their spawn could end up anywhere along that coastline. So that floats all through that coastline for up to a month before it starts to settle into the mud flat. So with them salmon pipes flowing out there, if there's any chemicals there, all that dies. A lot of people have a lot of concerns that, that right now that we don't have a lot of answers to, but, but I'm very glad that everyone come out to, to express their concerns to Council and make sure that we do our job properly and at the end of the day get all the information to Council and also out to the public. In Yarmouth, this is Carl Allen for the Saltwire Network.